Jumping on the bandwagon. Understanding the bandwagon fallacy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series on logical fallacies. Today, we are going to explore a very common type of logical fallacy known as the bandwagon fallacy. It's a fascinating concept that you'll find not just in debates and discussions, but in everyday conversations, advertisements, and even political campaigns. The bandwagon fallacy, also known as the appeal to popularity, occurs when the popularity or the majority's opinion is used as a reason for accepting a claim as true. Essentially, this fallacy suggests that if many people believe it, then it must be true. Imagine you're at a school election and one of the candidates says, vote for me because everyone else is. That's a classic example of the bandwagon fallacy. Just because many people are doing something or believe in something doesn't make it inherently correct or superior. To better understand, let's look at a few more examples. 1. Millions of people buy this brand of toothpaste, so it must be the best. 2. The majority of people believe in alien life, therefore, aliens must exist. 3. Everyone knows that climate change is a hoax. In each of these examples, the logic is flawed because it relies on popularity instead of actual evidence or reasons. Recognizing a bandwagon fallacy is crucial, especially when you're listening to a debate or discussion. It helps you critically analyze the arguments and see if they are based on solid reasoning and facts or are just appealing to popular beliefs or emotions. By being aware of the bandwagon fallacy, you can ensure that you are making informed decisions, whether it's deciding who to vote for in an election, which product to buy, or what scientific claim to believe. If you identify a bandwagon fallacy in a discussion or debate, here's how you can counter it. 1. Politely point out that just because a claim is popular doesn't make it true. Remind them that many popular beliefs have been proven wrong in the past. 2. Ask for actual evidence supporting their claim. Here's an example. If someone says, everyone's buying this phone, so it must be the best on the market, you could respond, popularity doesn't always equate to quality. Can you provide specific features or evidence that makes this phone superior to others? That wraps up our exploration of the bandwagon fallacy. Remember, the key to spotting this fallacy is to look for claims that rely on popularity rather than solid evidence or logical reasoning. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Stay curious, and always think critically. Until next time, happy learning!